And we're back with some more X4. And today we are going to be using this ship, the Odysseus Vanguard. Now this thing is damn expensive at 23 million just to purchase this. And this is not the bestest of best models. We, we've gone with a reasonable approach. And the reason why this ship is so awesome though is it's just the sheer amount of firepower you get to bring to bear. This thing comes with a two mounted front cannons. These are the main batteries. They're quite long range. They do a lot of damage and you get to fire them yourself while controlling the ship. Then it comes with four large turrets. We went with plasma. Large plasma turrets are just the only way to go and four large plasma turrets that'll give us some uh, nice bit of damage. There's actually one there, one there, one mounted there and I think there's, where's the fourth one? Oh wait, 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 there it is. It's at the back. Well that's not going to be able to shoot forward very well. Okay so we have three that can shoot forward and one that can maybe shoot down or up or I, I don't know, whatever. That's there. Then for the rest of the turrets we have two. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 medium turrets. Now these are usually used for anti-fighter duty. You can't really, you can put other stuff in there, but we're just going to go with anti-fighter stuff. Bolters, unfortunately, are pretty terrible. So what we're going to have to do is put on bolters for now. Then we're going to have to fly this ship all the way from this shipyard, which is over here. And then we're going to fly that over to Argon space and equip it with Argon flak cannons, because those flak cannons make it far more deadly. Like, you, you stick some flat cannons on there, they're the best anti-fighter turret you can put on. So we've got three pla- or, sorry, four plasmas, three of which can shoot forward, two main guns to shoot forward, and then a whole bunch of flak to protect us while we're doing that. And, of course, that would take a whole bunch of time, but here's one we made earlier. And this is what it's like when you come onto the bridge of your Odysseus Vanguard. It is, uh, it's pretty nice looking all right. Yeah, okay, I know I'm jumping up and down, but so would you if you were on top of one of these bridges. You, get out of the way. I want to fly this thing. Uh, come here. Yeah, so this is our ship. And it steers like a cow. Like, that's, I think we maxed out about 168, is it? Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Is there anything nearby we can shoot? I thought there was some fighters over here. Oh, yep, there they are. I knew there was something around here we could kill. Let's just get close to them and see what the flak turrets can do. One downside, spooling up the travel mode. Oh my god, it takes forever. Uh, I hit it there a while back, it's still charging. It's still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, any minute now. And there we go, travel mode activated. And we can actually accelerate up to a decent clip, it just takes a long time to get started. And once we're in about, oh, say that distance should be good. Oh, I forgot something as well. I haven't changed the turrets. We will put the turrets to hmm, attack all enemies, except for the plasma. The plasma can attack capital ships. Yeah, why not? You want to make sure the plasma ones attack all the capital ships, all the flak ones attack all the other enemies. And let's just see what this thing does when we get in range. I think it's about three to four kilometers we have to get in range of. There we go. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You should be very dead shortly. As you can see, we're just firing flak in all directions. <sighs> it's the way it should be. We don't have to do anything. The guns do it for us. Hmm. Anyway. With that done, there is one more thing we have to do. We have to pimp out our ride. The thing is... The flak cannons and all that are good, the weapons are good, the speeds, meh, but we can mod this ship, and we can mod this ship into something much more substantially efficient. Give me one second. We have come back to a shipyard dock to dock up. It turns out those big spiky things that come out the end, that's where you can dock your big ships. So we're sort of slotted into the end of that there. And we're going to do ourselves some modifications, and we're going to turn this good ship into a great ship. Well, if we do it right. And let's pop down to ship dealerships. Exit. Now we pop over here to the crafting workbench, or the workbench as it's called. And now we can start doing modifications on this. And I've had some good feedback on modifications. There is a few things that I really should have been looking into more. Okay, the drag mod. Now this reduces your ship's drag. But what that does is it actually increases speed, a whole bunch of stuff. Let's actually just install one now. You can see, actually, I'm going to take a quick screenshot of these stats down here. After we've done a whole bunch of modifying, we're going to come back and compare the two. But if we uh, install that mod, you can see it increases our speed, it increases our boost, our travel speed, strafe, yaw, pitch, roll, all of that stuff goes up. This is an incredible boost. Like the amount of stat gain you get from that one modification, this is just a basic one. And there's no negatives to it at all. 
Love it. It's amazing. This is the best mod for your, well, best mod for your chassis. You can only get one mod in each section. Now, there is the possibility of getting level 2 enhanced quality mods. Unfortunately, we do not have access to advanced ship nanoweave. We should probably have done a bunch of quests to get all this stuff, but I didn't know at the time that you needed the quests to get the second and third level mods, so we'll worry about that later. For now, we're just going to go with the basic mods, and in some cases, the basic mods are really good. For example, let's go under turrets here, and you can mod every single one of your turrets, which is kind of crazy. But where is it? Ah, the slasher mod. That was the one I was thinking of. Now you see here, this comes with weapon damage bonus and two other properties that are question marks. Uh, plus one... Uh, let me just actually install one of these so you can see. Also, you'll see down here that our average turret output and average weapon output, all of this stuff is going to change as we install these. So what this does is it increases the weapon's damage, decreases the weapon cooling, but can potentially increase or decrease the weapon reloading. Now the thing about turrets is, the cooling is when you fire your guns and the heat generates and then your guns have to cool down. However, Turrets don't have cooling. In fact, it's not necessary at all. So Slasher would be terrible on a main weapon, but on a turret, it's actually just masses of bonuses. Uh, for example, we can reassemble that again. No, that's terrible. 40% increase in weapon damage, 21% increase in weapon reload, and cooling doesn't matter. So, yeah, let's just hit that a few more times. No, no, no. Come on, give me a, like, there we go. Now that's a proper boost. 70% to weapon reload, 44% to weapon damage to that one turret, and then we just apply that to all the rest of the turrets. It's terrifying. Now, how did I figure this out? Well, one, I, I had to actually go onto Reddit to find out some of this information, and two, there's a great website. Finding information on this game is just so incredibly hard. I didn't find this by Googling it, I actually had to Google a Reddit post, and the Reddit post pointed me to this. Whoever made this, thank you. Thank you so much, this is just so handy. This here is all the basic mods with a, the search term weapon in the title. So these are all the different mods and all of their different things that they can do for you. A lot of them are very basic, but normally some of them will come with some downsides to counteract things. So, for example, you get a weapon damage bonus here, but you lose out on your weapon cooling, which is, which is great. Or you could get even more weapon damage here, but you lose out on the cooling even more. Oh, actually, no, you lose out on the cooling about the same amount but you can also potentially get a negative to your reload or a positive. So this is when we're using the slasher one because it just works really well for turrets. I mean, if you just try to go with basic damage, you'd max out somewhere between 5 to 20% bonus, which is not terrible. But being able to get that massive bonus and weapon reload, that is just even more huge. So you can't really let that go. Uh, it's got, it also covers the enhanced mods and the exceptional mods, if you want to go through here and look at all these. So this was what allowed me to actually go through and figure out what half of these things did without having to make so many notes. This is just so handy. Uh, I'll link the website in the description. Anyway, I am going to do a bunch of spinning and we're going to try and max out some of these mods or get like as much damage as we can. And then we'll compare our ship statistics before to our ship statistics after. It's done. It only cost us about an additional 4 million on top of the 20 we probably put into buying and equipping this thing. But it's finished. And what do we have on our hands for all of that effort? Well, uh, first thing would be the recharge rate of our shields. It went from 568 to 680. Now, there's more than one way to go with the shield. Some people like plopping on just lots of extra shields. But they can survive the encounter longer before they actually have to worry too much. But like having the extra recharge rate, it just means you're constantly recharging your shields. These things never stop recharging their shields until they hit max. So that means if you're taking any damage, you're immediately starting to repair that stuff. It's not like fighters where it takes a few seconds to kick in. That would be the recharge delay. We don't have to worry about that. None of this stuff has to worry about it. It also increased the recharge rate of all the shields under the, uh, the generators. Like all of those guns have shield generators protecting them. So we also changed all those shield generators to recharge faster. Hopefully keeping them safe for a little bit longer, though I'm, I think I might have made the wrong decision there. It might have been better to have more shields on them than actually faster recharge, but eh, we'll, we'll live and find out, or we won't live and find out, either way. But uh, burst weapon output has went from 4,002 to 4,402. It's not huge, like 400 points of extra damage is not bad, but our sustained damage has increased by about, oh, I'm going to say about 600, but 550, say 550 are the same damage is increased by, which is pretty reasonable. However, our average turret output, the, the damage from all of our turrets, has gone up a whopping 1,500. That's a 150% increase in turret damage. That modding is completely broken. I, I don't know even why it exists, but it does mean that if anything comes close to our turrets, they're just going to get hit by a wall of fire. Like two and a half times stronger than it should be, which is kind of mental to me. Nothing happening under this section, crew, miss units, missiles, deployables, countermeasures, none of that. But all of these, everything from speed down to roll has gone up. Like all of them. That is just mental. We're more maneuverable faster. The biggest one is travel speed. We've gone from about 5,000 meters per second to 6,200 meters per second. That's 
That's a big difference. All right, let's go take this puppy for a spin. Let's go pick a fight. Before we go pick a fight, there's one thing I've changed. Uh, if you go under here, this is recommended to me, show faction colors. If we turn this on, it changes the colors of stuff so their ships and everything match the color of their faction. It just makes things a little bit easier to figure out. So now these things are orange because they belong to the, that section family of the split. The yellow stuff belongs to the Teladi. It just makes it a little bit simpler to figure out what's going on. I like it. And over here, what we have is the family Zion and they're in trouble. There is a K destroyer over here and it seems to be doing terribly nasty things to them. Uh, we're going to go have a word with it. Uh, we're going to bring in some reinforcements as well, but we're going to go take our ship and see if we can't go make a mess. This thing turns a little bit faster than it did before, but I wouldn't call this uh, zippy by any stretch of the imagination. And the travel time is still a little bit to wind up. I'm not sure if I picked the right engine modification, but uh, I'll live with it. I am trying to imagine this thing running into an asteroid or something like that. This thing's an awful lot of mass moving at... Oh my god, five kilometers per second. I hope no one comes out of that gate. Oh! Right. Okay, we're just gonna have to pull a quick handbrake turn here. Yep. 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 And... Oh, damn it. Overshot. Overshot. This thing's like steering a cow. There we go. There we go. It is moving. Oh, ho, ho. Oh my god, this feels a bit like, uh, what was that movie, Tokyo Drift? You, you just try to drift into the target a little bit. There we go. I never actually watched the movie, I just saw the trailer. <laughs> okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Oh my god, I hope there's no one coming out of that gate. Okay, uh... We need to drift. Okay, we need to drift again. Oh, oh my god, this is so much fun to drive. You're doing stupidly... Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. We've overshot. We've overshot. We need to get a better angle on that gate. No, no, no. Don't come down a bit. There you go. Right there. Right there. Right... Ah, no, no, no. Too far. <laughs> okay. We got this. We got this. We probably got this. We probably got this. Maybe we don't got this. We don't got this. Ah! Uh, okay then. So I think I need to practice my handbraking in this. <laughs> Holy Christ! We are a... Oh, wow. That is a beautiful light show. That is the trap we set up earlier. It makes a hell of a mess. Beautiful. Okay, that means there's probably enemies on the other side. Danger. Path entering system. Yeah. Cascade. Yeah, we're still doing fine. I may have... Let that handbrake go a little bit too long. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Try not to get too close. Oh, God. I may have decided to take a route that's a, through a, a bad part of the neighborhood. That's fine. That's... Oh, my God. Okay, I definitely have a very, very bad part of the neighborhood. Just passing through. Let's not pick any fights. Let's just keep going. Keep going. Ooh. Nice area you've got here. Very, uh... Scary and red looking. Oh my god. And we're through. Oh god! Duck, that was an asteroid! Family Zin. Uh, okay. We're in an asteroid field and we're moving six meters per second in a thing the size of a freaking barge. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, travel mode charging again, I think. That maybe uh, we kind of just messed up a little bit there. Oh, well, that was, um, that was one way to drive. I mean, <laughs> how's our shields looking? I think we splatted that asteroid. Well, I actually did want to find out what happened if we ran into an asteroid. Now we know. Uh, the asteroid disappears. Now you. Okay. Uh, strict guidance to object. Perfect. You are our target. I wonder how this fight is going to go. Oh, I can see it. They're firing down on that station. Um. Okay, so we got to go in and hit it hard and fast. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ramming speed. <laughs> Come on, let's see what happens if we run into this at maximum speed. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
No! Danger? Are you sure? <laughs> I think we may have got them. Yep. Let's get in close. I want to see those flak cannons firing. And the best bit is we're coming down from the top. And people thought ramming speed was a crazy idea. This totally worked. Oh wow, that space station just uh, evaporated. Hmm, one second. We need to find the weapons on this. Now, is it page up or page down? There's a branch nine destroyer. Ah! There's a shield generator. There's a shield generator. Oh. It gives you all of the different things that you can fire at. Uh, impulse turret. No. Impulse turret. Shield generator. There's the graviton turret. Let's keep shooting, shall we? Explosion imminent. Oh, reverse. 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 Really? Are you sure? Uh, I think we lost some of our frontal turrets. That's okay. Now we can just vacuum up this stuff. I think there's like a box around here somewhere. <laughs> it's okay. Our shields will recharge pretty quickly. Replacement turrets might take a minute. Well, for our first combat, I think that went pretty well. Next time, let's maybe try and attack it from a different angle and maybe shoot it a bit differently. Oh yeah, we lost a plasma turret. That is unfortunate. Okay then, um, I think we have successfully defended this area. Uh, let's go pick a fight somewhere else. Like the gate. Where is it? Ah, down here. I say we secure the gate. If we can secure the gate, ooh, we can stop the influx. Things we'd probably have to get behind that Xenon defensive platform and then deploy a whole bunch of laser turrets. We've got 100 laser turrets with us. We want to stop more reinforcements pouring through. So if we gate that off with a lot of laser turrets, all the reinforcements die, and the, the these guys should be able to fix the problem. Uh, let's see, where do we go? I think the family Zine just gave us 305 grand for blowing up that ship. I mean, not a bad way to make cash. We spent several million on just the upgrades alone for this ship before I decided to ram it face first into another one. But, okay, what I've learned is ramming into ships does not seem to damage them. It just knocks them about a bit, which is still kind of funny. Uh, so what we need to do is maybe pick them away more from a distance or attack them while they're distracted. I don't think getting, like, that thing turned around and it started to shred us. Like, if we had not have killed it as quick as we did, if we didn't have that much uninterrupted firing at it from a distance, I don't think we would have survived. Eh. Uh, is that travel drive spooling up at all? I could have sworn I activated the travel drive. No, nope. it was the scan mode thingy. Never mind. All right. How's one of our guns looking? Eh, probably not great. They'll repair it at some point. We just want to get to the gate, drop a hundred laser turrets, and then get out. That should at least keep these creds safe. We don't want them getting annihilated because they do have some designs we would like to buy off them at a later date. And if they lose this section, it sort of splits up their territory. Uh, so they'd be in a lot of trouble. So putting a few laser turrets here is a pretty cheap way of keeping them in around so that we can harvest their good tech later on. Ooh. There's something weird about flying at four kilometers per second through an asteroid belt. Uh, that is an enemy base. That is also an enemy base. Let's just stay away from them for now. We are only concerned... Oh, that's a defensive emplacement as well. You're only concerned about the gate. We want to get within about... Ooh, I want to say 10 kilometers of the gate. Maybe a little... Yeah, about 10 kilometers of the gate should be fine. And then we start deploying laser turrets. Oh, we're about to impact. Nope. Right about here is fine. Okay, then... Do we have... Yep, we got 87 left. So you. Uh, slow down a bit, actually. Right about there. That speed is fine. I'm just hitting the deploy button, so they should be pooping laser turrets out everywhere. Guys? You want to start dropping those laser turrets? That would be nice. Uh, I think we've attracted some of the natives. 
Cool. Oh, buddy. No, 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 no. You came to the wrong place. We're, we're running around in a tricked out ship. You have no hope. And we're also dropping laser turrets everywhere, so you definitely have no, no hope. <laughs> yep. Keep shooting. And as you can see, we're deploying laser turrets behind us. Oh my god, it's deploying the laser turrets out of the the dock things. So you can see them, they're coming out two at a time. We can't deploy a hundred at a time, we can only deploy two at a time. So we're going to have to stay here for a bit until they all uh, manage to exit the ship. If you look on the map at the bottom there, you can see crates heading towards us. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to get some extra stuff so we can do even more of our um, modding when the time comes. Ugh. What's going on? Oh, reinforcements. That looks like a horrible situation to be in. Oh my god. I love laser turrets. They just make things so horrifying for your enemies. I feel like the sky is looking a little bit full of laser turrets. Just lots and lots of laser turrets. It actually takes longer to deploy laser turrets in a larger ship. Who knew? I just assumed this thing had pooped them out like all the other ships did. Like, are medium ships? Or just, yeah, 100 laser turrets, boom, out in two seconds. True, it causes horrible glitchiness and you you're usually end up with some of them trapped inside your ship, but you can get loose from those after a while. Here it just seems it has to deploy them via the actual fighter deployment section. Slowly and slowly and slowly. But, you know, at least we're getting some good spread on these. Alright, it's done. We have deployed 100 laser towers all around this thing. Um... And I don't think anyone's getting out of that gate anytime soon. Oh, wow. That's all the corpses. I don't know if that was all of our laser turrets, but that's definitely a mess. Fine, let's go see if we can't chew away at this defense platform, though. Defense platform. This one I'm going to be a little bit more careful about. Reason being, it's a defense platform, I assume it's not going to be a pushover like a ship. It's going to be actually hard to kill. Eh, at least we get to try some killing. Oh, what's our money looking like? Eh, we're up to 10 million, and our factory... How much money you got in your account? Eh, give us some more of that. We'll probably buy some more ships in a bit. Uh, how are we looking on the construction front as well? Uh, we're going to need more ore. We can get more miners. That's fine. Uh, configure station. How are we looking? Oh, yeah. Our station is looking very productive. This year is hull part production. It uh, There's a lot queued up. There is uh, a lot queued up. We've had to increase the amount of docking stations, though, because the ships couldn't dock anymore. We were having problems with... Uh, Ships not coming back and docking because there just was no slots for them. But we've taken care of that. And now we're going to go take care of a defense platform. Hopefully. And oh my god. I think a few laser turrets got trapped inside us. It's fine. It's fine. I have no idea what the range on this thing is. Laser tower, Mark two, Xenon defense platform. Eh, shield generator, positron turret. Okay, a lot of defenses are over that side. Hmm... So this right side should be vulnerable, and we should be able to smash it from this side without the other side getting involved. Hopefully. Let's get up a little bit of speed. I think we can get within about 10 kilometers of range without getting shot at. Hopefully. If we do get shot at from uh, closer than that, I'm going to have problems. Okay, our weapons have started shooting. That's usually a good sign. What are you? That weird thing on the right over there that looks like some sort of ship. Is that a constructor? If it is, it should be dead. And let's just start firing and see what happens. Your hull's at 99%. Wow, we are... We are doing weak sauce amounts of damage this thing. I thought this was a defense platform. Oh, it's not It's not fully operational. Excellent. Oh, there's something. Fire. Don't let that thing keep shooting. Wow. Alright. We are actually chucking down its shields, though. It's definitely going to get to keep returning fire for a while longer. No, our shields are holding up, and it's dead. Perfect. First turret down. This is actually turning out to be better than I thought. And what are you shooting at? You know what? I don't care. I'm going to try and get in a little bit closer to this thing. You know, it's probably going to explode, isn't it? Let's just stop here. Uh, reverse. 
Reverse. Oh, it was that thing that was exploding. Never mind. Get in close. Make sure the guns, all of them, can fire. Uh, that's one of the things I've been doing, is just trying to get in a little bit closer so the flak is firing more frequently. Something shot us. We were hit. Uh, were you? Well, I would like you to escape. Thank you kindly. Uh, you'll probably end up dead or something. Half of our miners are going to die at one point or another. We're kind of committed to that. What we're more concerned about is getting life out of them while they're... There we go. That's more like it. Uh-oh. Reverse a little bit. Reverse. Danger. Really? Think there's a little danger? What? Why would you think there's a little danger? Is it because all of our front turrets exploded at the same time? That that might make me think of danger as well. God. Uh, let's uh, back off a bit and let our repair drones do some work. And uh, then maybe we'll sneak around the sides of the civil war and do some more killing. I... Don't know how much I like the combat in this. This is very slow. Like, it takes forever to grind down one of these things. I think we've already got three of these paragons, or whatever these ships are called. I think we're going to get about ten of them so that we can clear things like this a little bit faster. Just sort of rush in with ten and just smash things. Or maybe twenty. I don't know. We They can also hold forty fighters, but I figure why build a swarm of fighters when we can just build a swarm of destroyers? Like, forty destroyers instead of forty fighters. I, I think that would just be a faster and more efficient way to do things. To help speed this along, we called in some friends. We've NCS, got... Vanguard. Our, Odysseus Vanguard over there, pounding them with hot plasma from across the map. Excellent. In fact, I think we have a third one that's going to be online shortly. I sent it off to get a refitted with flak. In fact, I think I'll just let this thing autopilot its way through murdering this thing, and uh, we can go off and, and maybe queue up a few more ships to come join us. Danger. I never learn, do I? I need to stay further away from those explosions. Okay, that's two parts of the station dead. Let's go find the next one. This thing's still considered a station? Come on, how much of this do we have to blow up? Ugh, this is gonna take forever. Thankfully you brought that second ship to help us out, and it does seem to be helping chip away. Yeah, I can't seem to learn my lesson. I just want to get in close and shoot the damn thing so it dies faster. My impatience is what's just getting our ship so scuffed up all the time. But it's fine. Once we kill these two segments, I think that's the last of it. Uh, where is our other ship? Oh, wow, our other ship is miles away, just peppering from a distance. Hey, you do you, buddy, you do you. I think maybe it's time to start reversing. Yeah, I have a strange feeling something's about to start popping soon. They're down to 7%. So I did like the way the flak was really helping out there. Some of our frontal flak is still destroyed. I assume you have repair ships to do that? I should really check if we have some repair droids to go around and fix out the outer parts of the ship. Hey, here it comes. Are we far enough away this time? Please tell me we're far Danger. enough away. Hey, we only... Okay, we lost some front guns again, but it didn't knock out our entire shield. This thing has 3% hit points left. Come on. You just gotta die and we can get out of here. Hey, that one didn't even explode. Perfect. I think it's gone. Is it dead? It's dead. Oh my god, finally. Now, did we get any loot out of that? I don't think we did. Kind of depressing, but that's okay. That's okay. We've managed to clean up a bit of this sector. We've managed to secure this location for the, the family whatever. Uh, this Who owns this place? The Zyarth Patriarchy. Okay, you nutters. Uh, there's a Xenon factory over there. I assume you can take care of it. If you can't, I'm not going to worry too much. Ooh. We should, uh, we should set something to stay around here and collect the parts. Like the w reason we were able to afford all of these lovely, lovely upgrades to our ships was because we were harvesting, well, we're harvesting the Xenon. For example, where is it? We have a Paragon over here. And uh, yep, this Paragon is going around and its job, constantly and forever, is to collect drops. So it hangs out out here, these laser turrets slaughter anything that comes by and it collects all the junk that shows up. So if we were to say teleport over there, we're actually quite close at the moment. Yeah, we can teleport to them. And, hey, how you doing? Now, before we go in here, let's have a look. What is our inventory at? Our inventory is at 24 million. Wow, we're carrying around 24.4 million worth of junk. And we'll talk to this guy. And we... We'll talk to this guy, and we'll hit five for more, and then hand me your inventory. 
Then when we go back in here, check our inventory, we're up to 30 million. They basically just hand us about 30 million of or 6 million of junk they picked up off the ground around this place. That means all of those laser turrets and the ship has paid for itself in that one thing. In fact, more than that. But of course, we're not going to actually sell all of them. We're going to use a bunch of them to make uh, upgrades for our ships. Uh, which reminds me, we should head back over here and teleport back to the ship we were in. Damn it. Oh, I really should have labeled which one was the good Odysseus. Damn it. Oh, look. It's a Xenon heart. It's a little bit lopsided. Maybe maybe the, the right ventricle is a little bit smaller than the left ventricle, but that thing's definitely looking kind of nice. Look, they're all gathered around to just have a little bit of a birthday party. Uh, even I'm not monster enough to go and interfere with that. Let's, uh, let's head back home, I think. Yeah. We have some bugs we have to finish exterminating over here, and I think we have just the ships to do it. Ah, this game is pretty beautiful. Okay. There's a K destroyer over there taking on a hundred laser turrets Odysseus. and okay. Odysseus. It does not seem to be winning. I think once its shields go dead, it's going to evaporate. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, once the shields go, its hull does not last long. The laser turrets have found some other toys to play with. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I'm kind of shocked those laser turrets are taking on a K and not dying. That that seems highly improbable. I'm pretty sure it's killing a few of the laser turrets in return. We might have to replace some in a later date. I have no idea if I'm actually repairing any of the stuff out here. And there goes that K. I hope it didn't destroy too many laser turrets when it popped. Like, our ship looks like it took a bit of a pounding here and there. There's a few turrets missing, a few shield modules, things like that. We lost an engine, though I think one has been replaced. Vanguard. And you know what? Let's just teleport back inside. There's six repair drones assigned to this ship. And the thing is, it says they're active. I just don't know whereabouts they're active. I assume this thing will get repaired up. In the meantime, we're going to send it on its way. However, we're not going to stay around. This thing should take a safe route back home. Uh, yeah, will it? I can turn off the guidance, actually. So this thing is going to go the long way around, as in it's going to avoid going through that nasty sector. I should probably fly it through, but I think... I'm, I don't want to push my luck. Instead, we're going to start teleporting around the place and collecting some of our supplies. Just like we did at uh, Hatikva's Choice, we'll teleport to the other two locations and grab ourselves uh, our spoils of war. Well, after a little bit of traveling around the place, we're uh, we're back for round two with this crowd. Uh, bugger off, my ship. Yes, now. This place is 50 kilometers away. I don't think ramming speed will be necessary, but I think we can definitely get in close enough to do some serious damage to this thing. I mean, it's got turrets on it, but I'm pretty sure our shield recharge is going to outpace most of it. These things are... These things are... Uh, not really that dangerous, to be honest. They're meant to slow you down early on, but once you get up to Destroyer class, you can just pound these from a distance or, well, pretty much use them as toys. We're going to use it as a loot pinata, though, because as we beat it to death, it will drop stuff that we can use to upgrade our ships. Ooh, I can actually show you the dragon ship we picked up recently. That, uh, you can do some weird things with mods. Uh, I love it the way the turrets pop up as we get closer. They're like, ooh, 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 there's about to be shooting. Uh, let's wait till we're about 15 kilometers out and then hit the brakes. There we go. Perfect. All right, then we'll just drift in and basically chew away at anything we can find on this thing. Uh, yeah, but I'd like to get in close enough that the flak can have some fun. And hey, it's spawning in some ships. I think we'll wait until those ships are dealt with before we go any closer. We don't want to take any more risks than we absolutely positively have to. Queen's Guard Protector. Oh. Yeah, good luck, guys. You haven't got a hope. You're just going to come in close and get riddled. Oh, looks like friends have shown up. Oh my god, that flak is just... I'm pretty sure they could walk on it. They don't even need to fly. They can just walk upon all the flak that's falling out of the sky. Oh, that is just not... I can't imagine being on the receiving end of that much stupid, stupendous amounts of firepower. The fact that those things don't require cooling is just ridiculous. Like, normal weapons have this cooling thing right here. They gotta cool down. Turrets don't have it. So while they have much lower damage, I'm really curious to see what we could do with, say, a Ju Juan? I think it's like the turret one. It's got six turrets on it. And it's a, a medium craft. I think that would be a very fun craft to try with. Six flak turrets, overclocked to the bejesus, and then just use that to riddle things down. It might be a fun ship to try out at a later date. 
Oh wait, where'd the fighters go? Nope, oh, never mind. They're all gone. Let's get in a little bit closer. I really should replace the laser turrets at this at some point. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get targeted by some laser turrets. I just don't know where they are on this thing. I can't see them from this distance. But I'm sure once they start firing, we'll figure it out. So, uh, I think that has successfully dealt with the problem. And now we will take the loot and go. Oh, is there some fighters still left left? Yeah, the loot has a bit of a problem getting sucked onto the ship for some reason. You hit these, the O key, and so it just bounces off the hull a few times. Oh, there's some more. Excellent. Well, was not really thinking that was going to be much of a challenge anyway, but we, we had a bit of, uh, well, we had a bit of fun blowing stuff up. There's never a bit, there's never really a downside to blowing stuff up, is there? I mean, other people's stuff, that is. Okay, then. Uh, now, I just saw a miner get killed somewhere, so I think there's some more bugs somewhere that needs squishing. Okay, so I may have went out and splurged a little bit on a fun ship. Uh, we don't need this anymore because we've got destroyers. But this is a Dragon Raider, or a Dragon something or other. I don't know, I bought it from the split. It's got six badass guns on the front of it, and a couple of turrets on top, and I've modded the absolute bejesus out of it. Uh, yeah, let's let's go over there. Get, get, get me out of my way. This is what the cockpit looks like. Uh, yeah, get out of there. We, we want to fly this ourselves personally. It's more fun this way. This ship, ooh, don't get me wrong, I like my old Nemesis, but uh, this thing's maybe got a few things going on for it, especially with the mods. I really should have modded the Nemesis ages ago, because this with mods makes the Nemesis look like uh, something driven by an old lady. Right, let's uh, get started here. And immediately boost out. Our boost's actually pretty good as well. And you'll notice, we are not in travel mode right now. This is our base speed. We can travel at 1300 meters per second just by default. That is the, the, the default speed of this thing. Its travel speed is nothing spectacular. It's only about 5000 meters per second or something. But oh god, this is fast. And we've got some neutron blasters that have been overclocked to the bejesus. Yep. Yep. That's what it looks like. Let's go pick a fight. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with... Dead. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, some people said I shouldn't have rammed into that. Fools, I tell you! <laughs> hey, come back here. Oop. That's a lot of firepower. Let's just boost away. And they can't catch us because we are way too fast. Right. Now that that's done, let's have a quick look see what's the map look like. Oh, there's one. P. You are far too close. Okay, what do we got to deal with here? Oh, that guy again. Yeah, my bad. This thing's just way too fast. Oh my god! Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. M. This should be, like, required piloting for everyone. It's just too much fun. Sorry, I, I know this can't really come across in the video, but this is just ridiculously awesome to fly. You, come here. Bye-bye. Uh, I should really clear up all the stuff that's lying around here. One second, I think it's time to do a little bit of vacuuming, maybe. Ooh, actually, there's more enemies. Never mind. I mean, we could vacuum now, but it really doesn't matter. I'd prefer to kill things. You, come here. Uh, don't want to target the gate. Don't want to target the gate. Dead. M. Next. Damn it. Stay still. Right about there. Think we got him. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, those guns are hilarious. Come here. Come here. Oh, we're actually close to overheating, but not anymore. Come here, you. Come here. There's no running away, buddy. If we miss by a bit, we're still gonna hit ya. Yep, yep. There's another one. Damn it, stop dying. Leave some for us. Oh, there's one. There's one. Coming around. Buggery. It is a bit sluggish, I'll give it that. But the high top speed means you can always just run away from a fight 
techno if it goes badly, which I kind of like. I could concentrate more on the maneuverability, but then you'd lose out on that massive high end. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come back here, you. Ow. S. Someone else got him. Doesn't matter. There's another thing over here. Hey, hey. Where are you going, buddy? You are... Oh, you're one of those bug transports. Are you? You are... Mining ship S. Well, now you're... Dead ship. I think we got it. <laughs> okay, I gotta go fight, pick up some packages. Oh, someone else is killing that. Never mind. We'll get this one. <laughs> I'm sure I will eventually get tired of that. But today is not that day. Oop. They must be just sending these miners to going, why are they never coming back? Uh, because there's it's raining lead on the other side. The weather has just become so unpleasant. Oh, seriously? Damn. Buddy. No, just no. Yeah. Yeah, that was not going to go well for you. This is a really, really, really bad idea. It's a K-Destroyer. Uh, it's not the biggest ship they have, but it's one of the biggest ones we've ever faced, and we're facing it in a small ship. Let's be careful about this. And by careful, I mean we're going to stop about 15 kilometers out and figure out a good angle to come at this from. Ooh. Yeah, it's a big sucker. We want to come in from the top and avoid its turrets if at all possible. So yeah, you stay down there. We're going to go right over the top of you and then land right on your back. Eh, also, Avatar, something about... Predators don't look up, or I don't know, whatever, makes no difference. We are going to try and sneak in here. Oh, turn off auto-rotate, don't want that messing us up. Break! Breaks! Do you want to take that out? I'd like that turret to stop firing. Okay, I think we have managed to get close enough to it. Oh, up, up, up. Damn it. Okay, we're uh, we're on its back. Great. And let's see. Where's your gun turret? Oh, there it is. No, that's a miss. That is also a miss. Damn it. I need to get to the engines or something along those lines. Damn, this thing handles just so fast that I like a slight twitch and we are all over the place. Requesting immediate backup. Oh my god, those flat cannons are making an absolute monstrous mess. Um, Let's see if we can't get that. Hey, hey, hey. Stop, okay, stop locking onto the turret and maybe, just maybe, we can shoot them manually. Kind of works. Hey, we got the turret. Did we? Yeah, 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 we did. All it cost us was a... Ooh. There's the engines. Okay, we take the engines out. That seems like a no-brainer. No. Damn it. Mm. Okay. There we go. How about the turrets? Do the turrets want to get on this? There we go. Right. So we can cripple this thing from the back of it and it can't stop us. Done. Engine down. Uh, what are you guys shooting at now? Oh. That looks like some sort of shield module that needed to go. And you are shooting at something that I can't tell. Whatever, this thing's shields are so high though, we can't actually penetrate them. We would have needed to bring a different loadout to even have a hope. I mean... Its shields are at 95%. 93. We got them down to 93, but um... Yeah, I think it'd take a lot more. Requesting immediate backup. 
Uh, I'm a bit busy here. Saving the sector from a rampaging K destroyer. Right, two engines down. Uh, guys, what the hell are you shooting? You're shooting something that that's fine by me. Let's see if we can punch through the shields if we shoot enough. I think we're actually making it through the shields. The flak cannon is doing enough damage to actually keep the shields down. So every time our guns recharge, we're able to take it down just that extra little bit. This this might take some time though. Thankfully, we have time dilation technology. And we've got it down to 78%. We dilate time for a bit. And we get it down to... 72%. So it's a 6% east crease every time we fast forward time and blast the thing. So we can kill this thing. Alright, uh, I'll be back in, in like about 10 minutes I suppose. Hey, we've made it through the shields, just about. I'm pretty sure the hull is a lot weaker. That should make it a lot handier once we... Mm. And... Oh yeah. The hull is made of tissue paper compared to its shielding. Um, what's all those explosions happening? Not the normal explosions, the other ones that's here to be happening. You know what? Never mind. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing, and then once it's near 0%, we need to get out of here. Like, we're going to need to boost away before it pops. I do not want to be caught in blast radius of this thing. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the last we're going to have to do. We're out of here. Danger. No, we're miles away. Whew. Ah. <sighs> There we go, we managed to get seven kilometers away almost before the, it exploded. That was perfect. Well, okay, a little bit time consuming, I will admit. I would prefer, I think, to do this with destroyers in future, it's far faster. But if you want a ship that can take out one of these and is quite small, ooh, I wonder what the Nemesis could do if we had a bit of practice. Hmm, never mind. I do realize I had not shown you all the things we had done to this, uh, what's it called, Dragon Raider to make it this ridiculously overpowered. But uh, we went with basically the normal stuff we went with on the other ship, sort of to the same extent. Polisher, the drag mod, that basically re increased all of our speed, acceleration, boost, and travel mode. And then the engine modification is, it basically increases our forward thrust, which is what makes us so fast, but it re reduces engine boost thrust, meaning our booster is slower and our travel mode is slower. I don't really care so much. I mean, boost is handy, but once you hit a certain speed, you, no one's catching you anyway. So I kind of consider boost not so much a dump stat as just not as nearly as important. It's just not. Uh, yeah, this means that the ship goes like 1300 meters per second. That is ridiculous. A combat speed of 1300 meters per second, you, you don't need that. But we've got it if we want it. Uh, then we've got shield modifications. We actually went with shield recharge rate. Uh, this thing is also sporting a turn shield. So uh, it's, since it's got a turn shield module, it is very tanky. There's the shield module down there. That is a Mark III module, so that's the best shield module you can get for something of this size. It's just insane. And with the shield recharge rate, we got a recharge rate of 89. I think most normal shields are about 50 or 60 in this class, so that's kind of exceptional. Our recharge rate just means we can recover an awful lot faster if we do use the boost. Flak turrets, same again, the slasher mod. Increases weapon damage, increases weapon, weapon reload. You want to aim for like... Oh, 90% on the weapon reload. That's where the real damage comes from. I got 87 and I stopped rolling because this is pretty expensive. It's 50 grand to roll this every time. Uh, I got 91% on the other. So those flat cannons are absolutely monstrous. Uh, finally, for the weapon modifications on these things, we went with g the Gatling mods. We just went with Minstrel. Minstrel and all of them, weapon cooling and weapon reload. This thing has lower damage per shot, but it just has so much more firepower going on. It's why we can burn through all of our neural our heat so quickly but it all works out into a, a ship that just points at something you click the button and everything that's medium or small just sort of vanishes you just have to get eh, within a certain size range 
because this thing's got a little bit of splash to it. I don't care. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. I know I should be getting back to building at the factory and doing all that stuff, but no, I'm going to spend a bunch of time shooting things in the face because this is just so much fun to use. Like those ships over there, they're accelerating with their travel drives and we're almost keeping up without our travel drive. That's how ridiculously fast this thing is. Oh, I don't think our acceleration is quite as good as theirs. Oh, no, no, no. We got it. We got it. Now, how fast do our bullets go? Uh... I think they were pretty fast. You know what? Let's go grab this guy while we're here. Hey. Oh, buddy. Two, 2,000 meters per second? Uh, okay. Yeah. I think we got him. <laughs> hey, where's this other guy? Requesting immediate backup. Oh, there he is. Our guns have not quite cooled enough, but his shields are mostly still gone, so it's fine. And... Well, that was anticlimactic. The guy went out of range. I think... Were you running away? You're the smartest person I've run into so far in this game. Okay, let's let the turrets have fun with you. Oh. No, 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 we can't let you accelerate away. Black cannons. There we go. And confetti. Damn it. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I'm going to run around for ages and shoot stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to be ending the episode a little bit early today. I would definitely recommend you try one of these dragon things. In fact, I'm going to see if I can put the save file up with this. and see, I'll share it. If you've got the game, you can run it yourself and try it out. This thing is way, way, way too much fun. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And uh, good luck. Good <laughs> luck.